beautiful skyline of Denver, Colorado is our backdrop tonight. Welcome everyone, let's get ready for some NBA basketball on 2K Sports. Hi everyone, this is Kevin Harlan with Chris Weber and Greg Anthony, our sideline reporter David Aldrin. Here are the starters for Los Angeles. Green and Davis in at the forward position. LeBron James is out there with Contavious Caldwell Pope, and it's McGee in at the center position. And for the Nuggets, Millsap and Jokic, the big men. Filling out the wings, Harris and Barton, and it's Murray in at the point. There's a lot of uh, expectations, high expectations, when uh, you're the number one overall pick in the draft. You know it well. Yeah, I'll tell you what, uh, it's something that I wanted. Uh, you know, Derek Coleman was from Detroit, and two years earlier, he was the number one pick. And I'd always been a fan of his, so I felt like he was passing the baton, and, and I had to kind of do what he did. And then Shaquille O'Neal was rookie of the year before myself and, and the number one pick. And so uh, uh, for me, I, I looked at it as, yeah, a pretty big weight, but the honor was more than the weight. And I, I, I was honored to be pick number one, and, and I relished in that, and I had great teammates that allowed me to flourish in that role. Shot clock at five. Shoots from the corner. It's hauled in by the Nuggets. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Harris. Yeah, and I think he was surprised to see that pass coming his way and just really reacted too late. And here's James. He'll bring it up for Los Angeles. The pass to Davis. Caldwell Pope against Murray. Back to James. Perry's the long range jumper. They don't need LeBron to hit the three all the time. But they love it when he does. McGee against Jokic. Pass to Millsap. Fires for three. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. The real come at us, and we're coming right back at you. Going on. That's what makes a matchup like this so much fun to watch. Now here's James. 29 points for him last game against Houston. While he was doing that, I mean dropping buckets. He was keeping everybody else involved too. And he had a tremendous night for Simitek. He's so aggressive at that end of the floor. And that's a quality all great scores have. On the wing, Davis. Shoots over Barton. Well, Poe passes to Davis. The second chance effort. Had a hand on it. They retain possession. And McGee kicks to LeBron. Three pointer. The offensive rebound. Caldwell Pope, and finally that one's good. And the versatility of Caldwell Pope, not just the score from outside, but also a threat to shoot the ball close to the hoop as well. Murray outside over James, and it's good off the back of the rim and in. Murray's got his second basket of the night. Boy, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. Yeah, that's because he's getting his number called early. I mean, he's doing his part to help carry the offensive load. And Caldwell Pope gets the basket. And Caldwell Pope can be a volume three-point shooter, meaning when he gets a lot of attempts from there, he can fill it up from downtown. Jokic passes to Millsap. McGee on the double team. Out of bounds, the Lakers will take possession. Let's send it out to David Aldridge, who caught up with head coach Mike Malone. David? Thanks, Kevin. I asked him which part of their offensive scheme they feel confident in, and he said, to no surprise, outside shooting. He told me our guys can flat out kill it from deep, so we're going to try to get that dialed up early on. We will see, Kevin. Back to you. Thanks, David. Always want to get those threes falling consistently. Now, here's James. Following the miss by Anthony Davis. McGee trying to break free. That's good from Davis on the assist by LeBron. Oh, fantastic vision. I mean, Brown always cognizant of everyone around. Here's Jokic. No oh, good on that one. Excellent D that time there from McGee. And reportedly, LeBron James spends over a million dollars a year just on training and maintaining his body. The money well spent. I mean, for his age, the most minutes played in NBA history, he's doing everything possible to extend his prime. And stolen by Barton. 
Bill Zapp looking it over. Harris passes to Murray. Shoots over McGee. The Lakers with the rebound. The drive by LeBron. Oh, oh, but did you see that? I right, love how fierce James is. A ferocious dunk art. We've got 155 left to play here in the first. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. Millsap at the elbow. Back to Murray. Some nice ball movement by the Nuggets. Just five to shoot. They need this. Harris's shot is good. Lakers leading by three. Caldwell Pope outside. From deep green. First shot, first pass. He's out of the blocks fast. Oh, great ball movement there. The Nuggets have gotten four of six field goal attempts to drop in the first quarter. Martin from outside. That's in. Coming off the assist from Jokic. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Well, these days, so much emphasis on the perimeter game. But you can see why after that sequence. And a lot of contact on that one. So he'll shoot two here. Paul Millsap picks one up. Los Angeles shooting their first free throws here for the night. And that one falls for Anthony Davis. And the Nuggets making a change here. Porter's checked in. And then for the Lakers, Howard comes in for JaVale McGee. And Kyle Kuzma is subbed in for Green. Both free throws good for Davis. And with LeBron James managing to extend his prime, the pressure is on this Lakers organization to make the most of it. Yeah, you're right, G.A. I mean, it's the kind of pressure you want, though. I mean, getting those superstar players is the hard part. Finding that supporting cast, that's the hard work. And a wide open look for Porter. Another three for Denver. Shots like this are why people are just so high on Porter. Has such a quick release on that jump. Now here's Davis. Kicks it out to LeBron. Connects from three-point range. The Nuggets trail by five. Murray left side. Jokic. Six on the shot clock. Passes it to Porter. Can't hit from in close. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. Excellent D. Avoiding fouling and got in the perfect position to alter the shot. And so it's LeBron James making things happen for the Los Angeles Lakers. He notched eight points in the quarter and has that terrific basketball instinct on display. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Broadcast so far, halfway through the first half in this one. And taking a look at Los Angeles' performance here, what have they been doing or not doing? Just cashing in on second chance opportunities. That's how they built this early lead. Well, it's part of their strategy coming in, no doubt. And, and there may not be that much their opponent can do about it. Denver with the ball. It's a five point game. Monte Morris is out there with Murray. Then there's Jeremy Grant, then it's Porter, and it's Plumley in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. That's the group for Denver getting going here in the second. Awesome at keeping his balance. Sometimes guarding Kuzma is impossible for the defense. Feeds to Morris. Takes the assist and lays it in. Pick out the pass nicely. Uh, one of the few guys in the league who make a lead pass like that. Oh, just a fantastic look. James kicks to Kuzma. Here's Davis, and that one, good. Davis has got the lead up to seven outs for Los Angeles. If there's a list of the best inside scorers in the NBA, Davis has got to be right at the top. When he gets his hands on the ball down low, you might as well just count it. Now here's Murray. He had a 21-point outing in their last game against Dallas. He 
he's got that huge wingspan, and boy, does he use it well on the defensive end. If Davis is within shouting distance of the shooter, there's a good chance he'll get a hand on it. As well as he's carried himself over the years, I'm amazed by the negativity about LeBron James. I mean, all he's done is eight straight trips to the final. Sometimes being on top makes you a target. The pass to Davis. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Chris, you think about what LeBron's accomplished, not just on the, you know, his activism, his business acumen. Yeah, shut up and dribble. That's what people want him to do, Kevin, but he's not listening, and thank God for that. It's about his power. It threatens some people. For whatever reason, they love to knock you down a peg. Denver making a switch here. Dozier's checked in. Ajan Rondo's checked in for the Lakers. So Anthony Davis nails both of them. Some people have already uh, predicted future MVP. Is there a surprise name that you think could win that MVP award, Chris, down the road? Oh, uh, I think there are a, a, a few surprises. I mean, we can go young with young guys like uh, a Trey Young or, or Luka Doncic. We can go with guys that we expect to do it, like Anthony Davis, who it just seems like he's just biting at the bit. There's a few young Celtics. There's a few young Lakers that in a few years, you never know what they could do, especially the ones that are playing with great guys and watching their practice habits, game habits, stealing their uh, recipes or stealing their what they eat before the game and, and their health wise. So, so many guys right now that are going to be in that second tier coming up. It's going to be fun to watch their growth. It will. Now, here's Rondo. They lead by 11, the largest margin of the game. Here's Howard. Knocks it loose. Hands so the out ball of out of bounds. Howard touched it last. A moment here to see the numbers for Mason Plumber. How he did last season. Last season, put up about seven points a game, six rebounds, and three assists. He's been making the right decisions and, and letting the game come to him. Solid play all around. Yeah, GA, I like it because he's not overcomplicating things. I mean, he's just playing to his strengths and taking what the defense gives him. And we're now a little over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Kuzma outside. Rondo against Morris. Back to Kuzma. Plumley with the rebound. Nice interior defense. Can't give him any space inside or he'll burn. Morris passes to Plumley. Sends it back. Rondo against Morris. Here's Rondo. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. No good from Howard. Nothing less than that kind of defense will cut it against him. That's just great work inside. Here's Porter. Pass to Dozier. to end the drought, and it's good on the layup. Dozier's got it back down to single digits for Denver. And it's Kuzma with the ball for the Los Angeles Lakers. It drops for his third basket. He's missed only one shot. I mean, it took him a long time to get into the flow of the game, but the points are starting to come for him. Timeout time is time called out. first of the game for the Nuggets. Will care for all his scoring talent. Kyle Kuzma, he wants to be more. I mean, he's working around out his game. He's growing as a defender, rebounder, and a player. A different look for Denver. Jokic, he's checked in for Plumlee. And Barton subbed in for Grant. Morris finds Jokic. Barton with it, picked up by Kuzma. There's Porter with the three, and the three ball is good. Porter's got six. See Webb last season, Kuzma making strides as a passer and as a defender. Uh oh, yeah, Kevin, that's because Rajan Rondo got him in the field room. Rondo! I mean, he and 
improved his recognition, his rebounding. Still an area to work on. Morris into the lane. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. And now a chance to see what's coming up for the Nuggets. On Friday, they'll be playing against LaMarcus Aldridge and the San Antonio Spurs. Then on Sunday, they'll face off against Anthony Davis and the Los Angeles Lakers. And you know, nobody loves playing on the road, but it does offer a good chance to see exactly what your team is made of. This team is going to find out a lot about itself over the next stretch of game. Bradley against Morris. Left side, Davis. Another shot. And he lays it up and in. Ten points for him. Oh, nice look by Bradley. Moving it to the open man. The Nuggets trail by 12. Now, here is Morris. Jokic kicks to Barton. And stolen by Howard. Bradley with the ball. Caldwell Pope outside. Here's Davis. Davis can't get that one to fall. You know, the right thing there to try to fade away with the D all over, but that is a difficult shot to sink. Porter passes to Jokic. To the inside. Here's Morris. Rebounded by Howard. The shooting numbers just aren't there yet in the quarter. And here's Bradley. He's coming off a 10-point game against Houston. Kicks it to Caldwell Pope over Harris. And we finish one half of basketball. Los Angeles on top, up by 12. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Kevin, thanks. Here with Coach Mike Malone. Things got away from you guys in the first half. What happened out there? Transition baskets, offensive rebounds, two of the areas that we knew coming into this game that we had to control. There's no sense of urgency right now. We're just shooting the ball. We're waiting to get back, and they're getting easy runouts. A lot to clean up, Coach. Thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the second half momentarily. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Ernie Johnson here with Shaq and Kenny and a favorite time of the year as we're halfway through one of the first games of this fresh NBA season. A competitive matchup for the Lakers in the first quarter. At the end of one, they were able to end up with a five-point lead. They dialed up the pressure quite a bit in the second quarter at both ends, and it worked out well for them as their lead grew all the way to 12 points at the break. And taking a look at the Lakers, Shaq, what'd you think? Well, they've been playing with some toughness. This led to a nice lead for them, not just on the scoreboard, but in the rebounding numbers. Now they need to stay mean, I and mean, he cannot lose that edge in the second half. Kenny, what was your takeaway on Denver? Too much of their offense was perimeter based. To be successful in this league, you have to score in the paint. Now, that doesn't mean you have to run your offense through the low post, but you've got to send guys to the baskets on the rolls, dribble drives, whatever, to create high percentage opportunities you can win. And that'll do it for our halftime report. Stay tuned for the second half. About to get underway. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. You have to like what we're seeing from Davis. As impressive as the block totals are from him early on, they don't even tell the whole story. He's changed countless others. Yeah, Jay, the blocks are impressive, no doubt, but his intimidation factor actually prevents certain shots from ever being taken at all. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade all fueled up and ready to go for the second That's half of great. basketball. Taking a look at Los Angeles, Green and Davis in at the forward position. 
Caldwell Pope out there with LeBron James, and it's McGee in at the center filling out the middle. Los Angeles leading by 12. James kicks to Green. Off target from outside. Denver's gotten off four shots from three-point range tonight and buried every one of them. Marie finds Jokic. Back to Murray on the wing. Harris, just five on the clock. On target from 13 feet. Harris has got the opening bucket to start the second half for the Nuggets. Yeah, I'm surprised that D isn't respecting his mid-range game more. Uh, they ought to be. I, I bet you they will be soon. Drills it from outside. And the Lakers lead by 13. Uh, orchestrating this offense, James. He's so crafty at distributing the rock. Pass to Jokic. And here in the second half of play, we're just over a minute in. It's a great move, and he catches the defense completely off guard. You'd like to see a little more energy coming out of halftime on the defensive. Now here's Davis. Ten points for him. Caldwell Pope outside. Millsap grabs the miss. The Nugget shooting has been beyond great up until now. How about 57% from the field overall? Deep two from Murray. And a miss there with a chance to cut the lead to single digits. Los Angeles leading by 11. James looking it over. Out of bounds. Denver takes possession. And how about the numbers on Paul Millsap? Last year, getting it done. He was around 12 points a game. Seven rebounds and two assists. Guys, he's a difference maker off the bench. Steps into that front court and more than holds his own. Well, this is willingness to bang down low. Move opponents off the block. Those are valuable contributions. And the Nuggets making a change here. Craig's checked in. And Los Angeles making a change here as well. Morris is checked in. Back to Caldwell Pope. Nice ball movement here by the Lakers. And again, the Lakers no good. Might take them a little while to find their stride here in the second half. Only one for four so far. Just need to calm down, play their game. Hey, Chris, this year pioneer Chuck Cooper inducted into the Basketball Hall of Fame. Long overdue, wouldn't you say? Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, he was the first African-American player ever to be drafted. I mean, just, let's just think about that. Jackie Robinson of, of basketball. He paved the way in uh, what he endured. Uh, and his teammates, by the way, of all colors, uh, is well documented. And I think the Celtics need to, and I think they will retire his number 11 and have it hang up in that fame Raptors of theirs over there. I agree. And you know what? You allow a guy to get right to the rim like that. That's your only option. Denver shooting their first free throw. First trip to the line in this one. First free throw is good. Well, Greg, the rapid ascension of Nikola Jokic into NBA stardom has been nothing short of amazing. You know, he really is an elite center now. I mean, he's the best player on a very talented young team in the West. I would not be surprised to see him win an MVP in the next few years. And Jokic drops them both. Oh, not many players with the more steady hand at the free throw line than this fellow. Here's Waiters. And that one goes long. And guys, not sure where his head was on that shot. Not what this offense was designed to create. Come on, you can't be selfish. You got to be willing to make the next pass. Otherwise, it's just predictable. LeBron, no good. The Nuggets trail by seven. Passes to Jokic. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. It's on JaVale McGee. The Nuggets have gone two for two in the game at the line. And they were 75% from the line a season ago. And he can't get the first one. Good on the second free throw. Third quarter of basketball here in just a little under three and a half minutes gone by. Rondo passes to LeBron. 
jacks up a three. It's hauled in by Harris. The Nuggets have gone four or six from the field since the start of the third. Jokic inside. McGee's there. It doesn't go for him. Los Angeles leading by six. James outside. It's stolen by Harris. And again, Denver no good. You can't look at the result of that shot. They'll take that whenever they get it. Well, you're exactly right. I mean, that's the kind of shot you're trying to work for at the offensive end. Murray kicks to Jokic. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. He's gone three for four from the line. You really can't criticize the work he did at the line a year ago, 82% on the season. Free throw, good. Jokic, Jeremy Grant, he's checked in for Torrey Craig. Howard's checked in for the Lakers. He makes one of two that time. Yeah, I like that they haven't lost their aggressiveness here in the second, despite being down. James, the pass to Rondo. He's looking for LeBron and finds it. Murray with it, and it's Howard picking him up. McGee with the block. Oh, this is McGee's role. He's out here to defend and the stifle shooters whenever he can. Jokic with the bucket. I'll tell you, they're right in this. We'll see if they can maintain momentum. No, and it would be a shame to make all this progress and let them off the hook. Got to keep the pressure on. Here's LeBron following the basket by Jokic. Nice shot by James. James has got 12 in the game. I, I love his shot selection today. He set the bar for the rest of the team. Here's Harris. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Howard's got five rebounds tonight. Another rebound hauled in. They're hitting the glass with a lot of passion. Raiders for three. That one, no good. And the Nuggets going the other way. Jokic passes to Murray. Harris outside. Now the pass to Jokic. Shoots from the elbow. Dwight Howard grabs the board. Howard's got six rebounds in the game. And here's James. He'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. Rondo scanning the floor. With one on the clock, again, Los Angeles. And pro move there. Finds a way to gain some separation against the much taller defender. Yeah, showing that short area skill allows him to create some space. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers. In control with the nine-point lead to end the quarter. A good size advantage, and they'll look to increase it. We'll take a quick break, and then back to the action here. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist of the game. It's just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? How about the unselfishness? Night in and night out, we see guys trying to force their own agenda. Not that time. Fourth quarter of action is upon us. Thanks, as always, for joining us. We've got Jeremy Grant, lovely out there with Michael Porter. Then there's Murray, and it's Barton in at the shooting guard. That's the group on the floor for Denver. Now here's Davis. Porter with a block. And you know, as he learns the game at this level, he's going to block more shots. Porter has the length and the ability to move his feet. Here's Barton. Kuzma with the defensive effort. And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. Well, that's why he's out there right now. In situations like this, he stands tall to prevent points. It's good. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. Oh, I do too, Greg. You have to go to your best scores. I mean, it's a smart strategy. And so far, it's paying off in this game. Murray, no good. 
They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. A few possessions into the fourth quarter, just over a minute played, and good that time. Uh, who knows what this score would look like if he wasn't on his game tonight. Here's James, and that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. It's going to be on Mason Plum. The D is no shot of stopping James when he gets that low in that position. He's too big, too strong in the paint. You got to foul him. Shooting two. The first one at the line is good. Oh, you love how effortless James makes this game look. Everything comes easy to him. The Nuggets making a switch here. Dozier's checked in. And both free throws good for LeBron. The creation of the super teams, Chris, is enough being done to ensure a competitive balance in the NBA. Uh, I think so. I, I think that every year we're going to have to evolve in trying to do enough and see what happened the previous year. But, but yeah, and, and the fact remains, though, Kevin, is, you know, uh, I like working with you. You're my friend. I would go work with you. And in basketball, you want to go play with your friends. Same so stuff, yeah. How do you stop that? Right. I don't know. When guys <laughs> get to hang out in the summer and say, wouldn't it be cool if we got to play together, our kids would play together? and we can win one, that's going to be hard to deter. So uh, I, I just think it's about how strong the will of the friends are and, and more importantly, what is the league doing to kind of uh, not necessarily give as much incentive to do that. But I think the league is doing a great job staying proactive, giving guys a lot of incentive, a lot of reason, a lot of dinero to stay at home <laughs> with the team. And so here's Denver. After LeBron James's miss, Murray with the bounce pass. The kick out to Porter. Murray outside. Shot clock at six. Pass to Barton. Denver needs to get off the shot. Again, the miss by Murray. They know they can't give him that shot. The D's are over it. Not even giving him an inch of space. Bradley passes to Davis. He's looking for James and finds him. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. Thirteen feet away, and that one drops for him. LeBron's got four points in the quarter. No one commands more attention from the defense, but LeBron knows how to beat it. I mean, he can do it in a variety of ways. It's stolen by Davis. He dishes it to Bradley. Back to Davis. Bradley finds Davis over Porter, and Davis gets it to go. Davis has got the lead up to 13 now for Los Angeles. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Right, it's a lazy effort. Let's just be honest. Hoping the shooter misses. That doesn't constitute defense. Denver calls timeout. You look at James. What a contribution. He's been a force inside. If they don't commit more bodies down low, he's going to keep destroying them in the paint. And now let's present our Jordan player of the game, LeBron James. And I love that it's been a hard charging performance. Jump shots have been kind of an afterthought. His main goal has been to attack the rim and put the D in some tough spots and also finishing strong. And as the star of this team, he knows he's going to be the object of the crowd's anger. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Alder. Hey, guys, will Mike Malone talk to his team during that last timeout? No surprise, he was not happy with the turnovers. He told them, we are giving this one away, guys. We've got to be more careful with the ball. Play within the offense and get good open shots. Kevin? All right, David, thanks. Uh, beyond the leaning, you could see his feet more set on that screen. Easy call. Uh, yeah, even a slight movement is going to catch a ref's eye. I mean, they're trained to focus on that. Los Angeles leading by 11. Caldwell Poe pass to Brantley. To the paint. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. 
when you allow good scores to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. Yeah, yeah. Horrible effort. It appears they may be on the brink of giving up. And Murray's got the ball here for Denver. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Jokic. Excellent D that time there from McGee. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. Excellent D. Avoiding fouling and gotten the perfect position to alter the shot. They kick it out to Green. Three-pointer. Trains the three-pointer. And, and guys, what we saw here tonight is one side having everything going for them. Huge margin of victory for the Lakers. In the end, they had a better shooting percentage, and that's what made the difference. Sometimes, you know, things go your way. The other team wasn't catching many lucky breaks themselves. Yeah, and, and Kevin, not all about luck. I thought their overall shot selection was better. And it'll go down as their first official win of the new year. And guys, one of the steady and outstanding players putting in another impressive performance. It was a big time outing for LeBron. His passes were crisp tonight. Pinpoint. So many easy buckets came off his assist. Denver with a platoon swap here on the floor. Here's Morris. 51 seconds left to play here in the fourth. Pass to Craig. Here's Dozier. He's guarded by Caldwell Pope. Now here's Bull. Six to shoot. On the wing, Morris. Guarded by Brad Morris with the bucket. 7-2, Bull has incredible vision, including noticing when his teammates are open. Passes it to Davis. Back to Bradley. Caldwell Pope outside. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. seconds left in the fourth and so it's the Lakers taking care of business here a solid win on the road for them this building was dead silent by the time GA this one wound down and that's what you want to do take the crowd out of it by crunch time don't give them any chance to lift their team up at the finish and a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside David Thanks, Kevin. Hey, LeBron, congrats on the win. What do you think made the difference tonight? Uh, defense. We made our mark defensively. We understand that for the long term, we have to defend at a high level. We've been doing it. It does start at that end, LeBron. Congrats again. Back to you, Kevin.